Hi, my name is Jeff and I'm the teacher program manager at CERN. And we've just finished the Spanish teacher program, which was founded by the Acre Foundation. And we've uh, concluded the Cloud Chamber workshop. And so I'm now going to show you how to build a Cloud Chamber at home. So to build a Cloud Chamber, you need, first of all, a plastic box with insulating material, dry ice, alcohol, the aquarium with the felt attached to it, with six holes and metal pins, because the felt will then take up all the alcohol a metal plate with a groove. Okay, so let's build a cloud chamber, our own particle detector. First of all, safety goggles are very important to protect our eyes. And then I'm going to wear the official safety gloves from CERN. I love this color uh, because I need to protect my hands from the very cold dry ice. It's about minus 80 degrees Celsius, so I better be very careful. And I just put all the three blocks that I have here next to each other, nicely spread them out in the plastic box. See, very nice. And next, I will take the alcohol and I will soak the felt inside of the aquarium. So let's go. I really have to make sure to get as much alcohol as possible onto the felt. So I'm just squeezing it constantly and spraying as much alcohol as possible into the chamber. Okay, I will stop here. I will open the bottle and fill the leftover alcohol into the bottle. I turn the box around and I spray it again. Okay, I think two times will do. And now I'm ready to put the metal plate onto the dry ice. Beautiful. Now in the groove of the metal plate, I will squeeze some alcohol in there very carefully, trying only to put it into the groove because that will make for a perfect connection between the aquarium and the metal plate. Now I've built a cloud chamber, but of course we have to wait for a couple of minutes before it really becomes active. So, um, so what we are seeing uh, uh, these are cosmic particles. Uh, cosmic particles is nothing really special. It's something that has been going on for a long time already. These are particles that are flying around in the whole universe. They come from above, from below, from left, from right, from everywhere. Some of those cosmic particles, they fly into the atmosphere, so they, they come to the Earth, they fly through the atmosphere of the Earth, and that's where they collide. Uh, the molecules are getting excited and they um, get rid of this extra energy by sending out photons which we can then see as those spooky polar lights. So that's what we see, the northern lights. This is essentially cosmic particles hitting the molecules of the atmosphere and that's the light that we can see. So this is the setup that we use here in School Lab and of course it's a quite sophisticated one. I mean the the groove inside of the metal plate, for example, we had that handmade for us. And so it comes as a cost. It's quite expensive. Um, but for the classroom, there are cheaper versions which also work nicely. For example, this version here, it also requires the dry ice and the isopropyl alcohol. But then all you need to do is this metal bookend, I believe. So it's uh, used for in books in sh to keep them in the shelves. A plastic container with the felt. This one needs to be soaked with the alcohol put on the metal plate and this one you can put on the dry ice and it will also show you tracks of cosmic particles. But there is another version which I really really like a lot because it looks great and it's this one. So all you need to do is buy a frying pan for singles which is quite cheap and a beer cup and then you attach the piece of felt in here and you put the frying pan on the dry ice, you put the cup inside of it and you will also see tracks. But the cheapest version, the cheapest version to build a cloud chamber is to take an empty glass of jam. 
Ideally one which is round, but this is the only one we had around it for my grandmother. So uh, it's, it works, it's fine. And then we, on, we took a sponge, which you would use to clean your kitchen with, and we squeeze it in there, we soak it with alcohol, and then the lid needs to be painted black for contrast, and then you put it on the dry ice, and it will also work. Probably not as good as the other ones, but it works. So that was the brief tutorial of how to build your own particle detector, the cloud chamber. If that was too quick to you, or if you want to know more, you can go to this cool lab website where we have a beautiful manual which contains all the information you, you might need, the history, how it works, some troubleshooting and FAQ. It's beautiful and we really hope it's helpful to you as well.